welcome to another Teacher's Corner. I'm Teacher Kirby, and this time we're going to be going over disruptor consoles and or sets and consoles for disruptor builds. Need to learn how to speak today. <laughs> Words are hard. Anyway, so uh, we're going to be going over consoles and sets to help disruptor builds, and I'm going to go over each one. In turn, remember not all consoles and not all sets are created equally so I will break them down and give you the information needed to help you hopefully make good choices to make to maximize the potential for your build alright so here we go so first of all for disruptor builds for tactical consoles and remember if you're focusing on DPS you want to have five dedicated tactical consoles on your ship and um, and use the uh, the universal console from the tier 6x upgrade as a tactical console as well that's generally the the general practice on a five tactical console disruptor ship so or five tactical console ship so you'd be looking to fill that with disruptor induction coils if you're just starting out this is like your fresh brand new level 50 tune you haven't had a chance to build up any fleet credits or any resources or anything like that or to spend anything and so this is what you're using so this is your plain Jane all it does is give a disruptor damage boost of a maximum of 39.4 percent depending on mark and rarity it's going to vary in these ranges this is again your starter or placeholder tactical consoles and then you have um, from the reputation system you have another dedicated tactical console so it has to go in tactical console slots and these are called auto targeting modules these come from the Dyson Reputation Store. Now they have less disruptor damage than your disruptor induction coil um, consoles, significantly less, which makes them less desirable. But they do also have proton weapon damage and a boost to accuracy rating, which can have some benefits. But generally, you don't see people using the auto targeting modules. All right, and then we have some mission reward consoles. Now, these are straight out of various missions. The Counter Command Multi Conduit Energy Relay, and that is a uh, that has a 13.1 percent boost to disruptor damage. Comes from the mission Surface Tension. Okay the harmonic resonance relay both of these are tactical consoles meaning they have to go in tactical console slots the harmonic resonance relay uh, gives 20 percent disruptor damage and 20 percent transphasic projectile weapon damage okay um, again tactical console so it has to go in a tactical slot since these two are both significantly lower than even just your standard disruptor induction coil they're usually not used in favor of the induction coils and then we have the last of the mission rewards and that's the Nausicaan siphon capacitor now this one's a little different from the other two um, because this one has get it to pop up here Come on. This one is a science console. So because it is a science console, you can put it in your science console slots. You don't have to take up a tactical console slot to use it. So you can have all of your disruptor induction coils or your better consoles that you better tactical consoles, which we'll get to in a minute and have this as an addition to them instead of replacing one of them so this one that makes this a good choice to add to your build 
All right, and then we have our fleet console uh, choices here, and that is the we have the energetic proto matter matrix infuser for dis with the disruptor proc on it. So, or disruptor modifier. So that gives um, about 37.5 disruptor damage at epic with a projectile weapon damage uh, tacked onto it. It also gives a 25% chance to apply the restorative protomatter matrix. When you're in special firing modes, you get some hull healing and 1,000 shield re regeneration. Um, both of these every two seconds for a total of 10 seconds. You can get up to 10 stacks of that. These are actually pretty good and they come from because of that um, healing attribute and they come from the colony world from your fleet colony world and then we have the vulnerability exploiter um, this one is coming up with the, the infuser okay so we'll just talk about it so this one gives the same amount of disruptor damage as the matrix infuser however it gives a straight boost to critical severity now these aren't normally used because you usually get or you get a greater boost to critical severity from weapon modifiers than you do from this console so generally what we do is we go with the vulnerability locators which is right under and again matrix infuser so the vulnerability locators again give the same amount of disruptor damage but they boost your critical chance they boost your critical chance by 1.9 which is almost the same as a modifier would and it applies to everything okay so it boosts your critical chance for everything all right and vulnerability locators are the standard um, high-end tactical console you people will gen most high-end players will either use all vulnerability locators or they will use a mix of the uh, matrix infuser and vulnerability locators mostly locators though with maybe one or two of the uh, matrix infusers all right and then finally we have now these two are bound to specific starships they come from starships and they have to they can only be used on those specific starships so if you're going to use those starships then you might want to consider using the this console all right they are universal consoles which means they can be placed anywhere and we have the uh, heavy disruptor spinal cannon okay so this comes from the Mata Raptor so if you're going to use the Mata Raptor or the fleet Mata Raptor then you are able to use this console and so this will give you an extra 15 percent disruptor damage the other console is the spiral wave disruptor lance and this comes off of the Cardassian Keldon cruiser and this will give you an extra 20 percent disruptor energy weapon damage okay so there you go those are your consoles console only things that will boost disruptor damage all right now now that we've gone over consoles let's talk about sets so there are a number of sets you can see here there's a few they list ones that affect all weapons and all you know critical chance and this and that which are great but we want disruptor only so we're going to look at from allied dogfighter set down all right so here we go so the allied dogfighters set now this consists of four consoles we have the domino from the Bajoran Interceptor it was an anniversary ship if you did not get that then you can get the um, 
the ship out of the Phoenix lockbox or Phoenix prize box now um, for a, I believe it's an epic token. Now the, uh, the second console is a wing torpedo platform. And then we have the gateway trap spawner. Neurophasic disruption field is the last one. These three come off the allied pilot escorts. Okay, the Andorian, that's the Andorian escorts, pilot escorts, the Lethian pilot escorts, or the Day One pilot escorts. Doesn't matter which variant you have or own as far as whether it's Andorian, Lethian, or Day One, but you need all three the uh, um, science, engineering, and tactical to get the three consoles. Okay, because each one has one of the consoles. So, now, what this does. Now, in order to get this bonus, here's the bonus, you need to have all four pieces of the set. This gives you allied energy enhancements. Allied energy enhancements gives you between plus three to plus 24, 24 being the start, bonus phaser, plasma, and disruptor energy weapon damage lasts 14 seconds total, but each bonus decreases by 3% every two seconds. So basically, you get 24% bonus disruptor damage for two seconds. Then you get 21% bonus disruptor damage for two seconds. Then keep going, keep going, keep going until you get down to three and then finally it's done, okay? So now it's important to note, now this only lasts 14 seconds and it's going to have a pretty long cooldown. Let's see if I can get it to pop up. Nope, it doesn't want to pop up. Okay, but uh, yeah, so this will have a really long cooldown, at least two minutes, and it only lasts for 14 seconds. So it's going to be extremely short-lived. And in order to use it, you have to have four, four different consoles, okay? Taking up universal console slots. That's a very high, high price to pay. So generally, I don't recommend sets like this because it's way too high a cost because there are other things that you do need to do with your consoles that you can do with your consoles. So I generally don't recommend a set like this and we'll talk about, you know, other things we can do because you can put together other sets and get higher constant bonuses rather than doing this one large four piece set and getting a short-lived uh, bonus that you're not going to be able to um, you know to reuse most likely in a in a battle okay moving on then we have now this is not a weapon set or a console set this is a uh, deflector shield um, what was it engines and warp core set and this is the Bajoran set. So this comes from the mission Scylla and Charybdis. And the Bajoran set, where's the set powers? There we go. The two piece, so we'll have any two pieces of it, doesn't matter which two they are, and it will give you a disruptor damage boost of 17.8%. Okay? So again, it doesn't matter which two pieces. You can get two pieces of it off Scylla and Charybda, Charybdis and have a nice life, you know. Um, this is a good starting set to work with, but most people will eventually phase it out for fleet and reputation gear. All right, next let's talk about the Counter Command Ordnance set. The set is a four-piece set, four-piece equipment set. 
Um, I say four piece because there is or there are two turrets that you can get and so that makes it a four piece. Okay. Oh, there is a there is a second console. So and it's not listed here, but the set consists of the counter command multi conduit energy relay, which we talked about before when we talked about consoles. The console universal hydrodynamics compensator the Enhanced Biomolecular Photon Torpedo Launcher and the Heavy Biomolecular Turret. Now, as far as set powers, you only need two pieces of this set. Okay? And it gives you 7.5% bonus phaser damage, or bonus disruptor damage, because we want disruptor. And this is a constant um, bonus to your disruptor damage. So what you can easily do is put on the hydrodynamics compensator and this is also a good set for those wanting to do cannons. But you could easily put on the hydrodynamics compensator right and then the either the biomolecular torpedo launcher or the heavy biomolecular turret, especially if you're running cannons. Okay. But put on the turret and then boom, there's your seven and a half percent constant bonus damage, category two, which is better than just a flat, you know, the type that a tactical console gives. And uh, and there you go. Because it is applied after all your bonuses. Okay, so this is definitely a good one to consider because it leaves plenty of room to mix and match things from other sets as well. So there we go. And then we have the Entoiled Technology Set. This includes the Nausicaan Siphon Capacitor that we talked about before. This is the one that gives plus 20% uh, disruptor damage and is a science console, so it does not take up one of your tactical console slots. Okay, this also has a energy torpedo, disruptor energy torpedo launcher, and a disruptor beam array. To get the bonus, you need all three pieces and it gives you a constant 26.6% disruptor damage bonus plus 50 hull penetration. That's a pretty good bonus for disruptors and these are mission rewards, right? This is mission rewards. I did forget to mention that the uh, hydrodynamics compensator is a lobby item and the other parts of that are not a lobby, sorry is reputation item and as well as the other pieces of the counter command set from the 8472 rep but this one is mission rewards so you can run the mission echoes of light three times and boom get all three pieces and you got yourself an extra 26.6 percent disruptor damage and didn't have to spend anything but a little time okay and you still have plenty of room to mix and match with other sets. So you could easily combine the counter command and this, for example, in order to get both bonuses and still have room on your build for other things. All right, and then we have the Reformation Reinforcements set. So this is a three-piece set. Uh, you have the Cardassian Support Platform Cluster, Cardassian Mobile Torpedo Platform, and the Spiral Wave Blast Module. You can equip these consoles on any starship. They come from... They come from the Cardassian Intel Science Dreadnought, the Cardassian Intel Flight Deck Cruiser, and the Cardassian Intel Escort. 
You can also get them if you wanted to get it from the bundle. There's the Cardassian Intel bundle, has all three. And the Gamma Vanguard pack also comes with all three of these. Now the bonus is part of the three-piece set bonus called Spiral Wave Expertise. You get a 15% boost to Disruptor Damage, but it does mean that you need to slot all three and all three pieces and the three pieces are consoles only. So this is again quite a costly uh, set to, to incorporate. However, I will give you that it is a constant bonus versus the allied uh, set, the allied dogfight set, which was a clickable or activatable bonus with a long cooldown. So this one is at least a constant bonus. So it does have the, the up on that and it's only three pieces instead of four like the allied set. All right, so moving right along, right along. We have the Romulan Singularity Harness. This comes from the Romulan Reputation system and consists of a zero point energy conduit console, that's a universal console, the Romulan Hyperplasma Torpedo Launcher, and the Romulan ex the Experimental Romulan Beam Array, both plasma and disruptor variants. Now if we take a look at the set powers, it's a 10% boost to disruptor energy weapon damage. And you only have to put two pieces. So you could get the disruptor variant of the beam array, as you can see here, the disruptor variant of the beam array, and then slap on the zero point energy console which also gives a boost to critical chance, if I remember correctly. Yes, it does. Okay, which also gives a boost, a slight boost to your critical chance. So you can do that and then get that 10% disruptor energy weapon damage bonus and still have room to mix and match other sets on your build. Okay, and then we have the Silent Enemy set. This one is another one that is good for those that are looking to build a cannon build because one of the pieces of this set is the Heavy Crescent Wave Cannon. Okay, we also have the Alachi Subspace Torpedo Launcher and the console Bioneural Infusion Circuits which is just a great all-around console to have anyway. So in order to get the disruptor damage boost here, you need two pieces of the disruptor damage boost, or sorry, two pieces of the set to get a 9.5% disruptor damage boost. And so you could easily take the bioneural infusion circuits, which will also give you hull capacity control expertise and a pretty good amount once you get it leveled up. Once you get it up to epic, you're looking at 26.3% critical severity at maximum level and mark, which is a extremely good amount of critical severity, constant critical severity to be adding to your build, which is what makes the bioneural infusion circuits which comes from the Lobby store, such a good um, console to begin with. So you can take that and add the Crescent Wave Cannon if you're doing a cannon build, or if you don't want to, you can add the Torpedo Launcher instead. And Bob's your uncle, you got another 9.5% Disruptor damage that you've added. Okay. And then the last one to consider, the Synergistic Retrofitting Set. 
So the Synergistic Retrofitting Set consists of four consoles. This is going to be another evaluation one. Uh, the first console is the Dynamic Power Redistributor Module. Great console by itself and most builds should have this anyway regardless of your energy type. Um, disruption Pulse Emitter, Secondary Shield Projector, and the Point Defense Bombardment Warhead, another pretty good console in and of itself. All right, and then if we go down to Set Power. So for our Set Powers, to get the Disruptor Damage here, we only need two pieces, and that is a very large, very large damage boost compared to the others. You're looking at 33%. That's the largest boost we've seen uh, for damage for and for directed energy weapons. That is a constant boost, a constant passive boost, and and it only costs two of the consoles. So most serious DPS builds, most high DPS builds, will have the DPRM, the Dynamic Power Redistributor Module, already on their build, regardless of, of what energy type they're using, because yes, that console is that good. Okay. Um, the other one I would recommend from this set would be the Point Defense Bombardment Warhead. This comes from the NX Escort Refit for 900 Lobi or the Columbia Legendary Temporal Operative Escort which is costing 30,000 Zen from the Zen store. Um, you may be able to find the cross-faction bundle package on the exchange but you won't be able to get it out of the Lobby store anymore. Okay, so the other consoles, if you wish to get them, um, for example, the Secondary Shield Protector would come out of the Thry Dreadnought Warbird. The, let's see, the uh, Disruption Pulse Emitter comes out of the D9 Dreadnought Battle Cruiser and the DPRM comes out of the Atlas Prototype Dreadnought Cruiser. So these are definitely consoles to consider or this is definitely a, a set bonus to consider. It's a pretty good one and but it can be expensive all right so this is teacher kirby we've gone over the sets and consoles for disruptor builds so remember the allied dogfighter set the cliff notes here allied dogfighter set four console slots to use it you have to have all four pieces and it's a clickable with a short shelf life and a long cooldown probably not worth it the Bajor defense set not a weapon set so it doesn't take up any console slots doesn't take up any weapon space um, but you do have to replace um, or use either a shield, warp core, engine, or deflector. Two pieces minimum for a 17.8% disruptor damage. Good starter um, set to help. Counter command ordinance, two pieces. Okay, two pieces to get the, uh, the bonus. And this comes from the 8472 reputation. You can easily use one console and one weapon, good for cannon builds as well, but easily use one console, one weapon, and have plenty of room to mix and match for more uh, set bonuses for other sets. Entoiled Technology 
is a mission reward, very good bonus, large size disruptor damage bonus, a three piece set, two weapons, one console. The console is a, a science console, so it doesn't take up a tactical slot, and has its own, and that console has its own bonus to disruptor damage as well. A good set to have, so definitely recommend this one. Reformation reinforcements. These come on specific ships from the Zen store. Uh, three piece console set. And uh, while it can while it can be uh, expensive to get, if you have the three pieces and have the room for it, it is at least a constant uh, disruptor damage bonus unlike the Allied Dogfighter set. Alright, the Romulan Singularity Harness comes from the Romulan Reputation. You need two pieces to get the bonus. You can easily do a the console and um, the beam array and Bob's your uncle, there you go. A Silent Enemy set comes from the Lobby Store. The console is highly recommended. Most, most uh, or a lot of high-end DPS builds, uh, at least used to have that on them anyway, to boost their critical severity. And just add the cannon, it's good for cannon builds, just add the Heavy Crescent Cannon, also from the Lobby Store, and there you go, you get an extra 9.5% disruptor, 9 disruptor damage. The Synergistic Retrofitting Set, uh, two consoles required, one of which you're probably, you should be having anyway, the DPRM, highly recommended console, usually considered a must-have among DPSers, and then the recommended add-on would be the, um, but the uh, Bombardment Warhead um, on there, and for a large 33% disruptor damage boost for directed energy weapons. So highly recommended set there. All right, that is the cliff notes. And then of course with the consoles, vulnerability locators are highly recommended with a mix of some protomatter matrix infusers, maybe one or two of these, and the Nausicaan siphon capacitor, which would be part of the Entoiled technology set anyway, are the highly recommended from just the straight console section. All righty. So this has been Teacher Kirby. We've been going over disruptor consoles and sets. And I hope you learned something. See you next time.